Hi guys and welcome to this developer review for Reloaded Games, the company behind Holcomb. Holcomb describes itself as a multiplayer first person shooter for PC that places you inside a mechanized war machine on the battlefield of a dystopian world called Ilal. With strategic, fast-paced gameplay, Hawken features incredible alien landscapes, customizable and upgradable mechs, and dynamic experiences across multiple competitive game modes. The game was launched on Steam on the 14th of February 2014 and is free to play, although you can purchase bundles. It has a very positive 86% rating and over 16,500 reviews. Now, Hawking has quite a convoluted past, so we're going to look at that history first before we look at the ratings for this developer review. The original developers behind Hawking were called Adhesive Games, and they tied up with a publisher called Meteor Entertainment. In 2012, the CEO of Meteor, Mark Long, did an interview where he claimed that Hawking could have between 5 and 10 million players and be doing $100 million in revenue within the next year. In fact, he said within that interview that the game could be bigger than League of Legends. Now, that may have been a bit premature because two years later, Meteor folded, which also, as you can imagine, caused massive problems for Hawking. Hawking's assets were purchased by Reloaded Games, and the announcement was made in March of 2015 that they now owned Hawking. However, there's an interesting story that the new producer Captain Josh relates in an interview he did in 2015. The link to that is in the description, where he explains that he came into the office in early January to see some of Hawking's equipment already there. As Reloaded Games are the company now responsible and the company that owns Hawking, this developer review is going to focus on them. What they've done since they picked up the IP, how they've been treating the community, what updates they've released, what information they've released, and whether or not you can trust them. So let's carry on with the developer review itself, and the first thing that we're going to look at is community interaction. The community interaction rating looks at how active the devs are on the forums, how fast and how accurate their replies are, and whether or not they're working with the community. Now, there are two main forums for Hawking. There's the Steam forums, and there's the forums on playhawking.com, and it's fair to say that the forums on playhawking.com are definitely the busier of the two. There is a community moderation team on the Steam forums and they've got a code of conduct up on there and I have to say the community moderation team it seems to be doing quite a good job on there. Unfortunately though the last time that a dev posted on there that I can find was the 17th of November last year and that was Lady Tiggs to post up the last news item that appeared on Steam. So if you're a Steam user, the last piece of news you're going to see on Steam was something posted on the 17th of November 2015. It's a bit of a different story on the Play Hawking forums. Lady Tiggs is a little bit more active there, and there is quite a vibrant community. Before I carry on talking about the interaction rating, I just want to give a major shout out to the community behind Hawking. They are extremely passionate about this game. They're happy to provide feedback. They hold their own pretty much weekly events. They are dedicated to Hawking and they deserve a game that is first rate and as near to AAA as you can get. It's unfortunate for them that it's been almost two years since an update was released and that the original publisher and the original development studio have both gone bust. They are placing a lot of trust and a lot of hope in reloaded games. The amount of interaction between the devs and the community is minimal at best. When Reloaded Games first took over Hawken, they were doing a lot of different streams. There was a weekly update coming out. There were posts on the forums. Now there are monthly updates. There's very few streams. There's, there's very little going on. There's very little community interaction. Although there are community codes of conduct on both forums and on the Steam forums, there are active community moderators. That's not interaction with the developers, and that's the key thing. So I'm going to give Reloaded Games a negative rating of D for the community interaction. The second of the ratings looks at developer speed. How often are updates released? How much content is contained within those updates? And if we're given a date in advance of when the update will be released, 
How accurate is that date? Now, within the almost 12 months that Reloaded Games have had Hawken, they haven't released a single client update. They've done some server work, but there's nothing client-side to fix any client-side bugs or add anything new or anything like that. So, it's unfortunate, but the only rating I can give Reloaded Games is E. The third of the four ratings is for development clarity. Is there a public board or a spreadsheet where we can see the tasks that the developers are working on and what the status is? Is there a public roadmap? Is there any info on the next patch and when that's expected to be? It's fair to say that Reloaded Games and Hawken pretty much fall down in all of these areas. We have very little information on what's being worked on. Originally, Captain Josh would put out weekly updates. Now they seem to have slipped into monthly updates. There is no roadmap of what they want to do with the game to get it to a releasable state where it comes out of early access. And there is no info on the next patch. In October 2015, Captain Josh did a very interesting interview with a YouTuber called Augmentia. At about six minutes into the interview, he was asked for a timeline for content, patches, etc. And the reply that he came back with was, it's not solidified. There's a couple of milestones they're moving towards. And once they've done that, they have a couple of partners that are going to step in. Something which I do find personally very interesting. Which partners? And what are they stepping in for? He then said that they're expecting a number of interesting announcements by the end of the year from Reloaded and Partners, and unless I've missed those particular announcements, they were never made, so they've missed those milestones. At about 23 minutes into the interview, he was again asked for the status or an ETA on a client patch. Now, there was an answer to this, but it didn't contain any kind of information on a status or an ETA. So the point I'm making here is that They've had Hawken now for about 10 months. And even now, Reloaded Games are not able to give any kind of information on when a patch is going to come out. To be fair to Reloaded Games, they have been providing some information in the status updates that Captain Josh has been releasing. There was information in August and October and December about new hires and people they're also looking to hire. And if you look at the jobs page on Reloaded Games website, you'll see that there have got quite a number of jobs on there that they're looking for people, although some of them are specifically for APB Reloaded. So they have provided a little bit of information, but overall it's still a very, very muddy situation where we don't know what's coming in the pipeline, we don't know when it's going to come, we don't know what the game will look like when it's finished. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give them a rating of D for development clarity. The fourth and last rating is for developer honesty. How honest is the developer? What about the claims that they've made about the game? Have they ever lied or screwed up? And how honest is the Steam Store page relative to the game itself? So I'm going to start with the last one of them, the Steam Store page. From what I can tell, that doesn't seem to have been updated since the time of Meteor and Adhesive. In fact, just a small thing, if you look at the quick description on the top right hand side, you'll see it's actually truncated. That means that no one's touched that since the last changes on Steam store page, and that's quite a while ago. Even the trailer video which is on there still mentions Meteor and Adhesive Games. Now it's very very easy as a developer to go into Steam's backend and change the graphics and change the trailer videos. There's, it can be done within 5 minutes. So there's no technical reason why they can't do it, they just haven't done it. And this is something that worries me a little bit, because if you're a new player coming into Hawken, you don't see what the current status is of the game. You see something that's been there for a year or two, and that isn't very honest. Other than that, there's no real negatives for Reloaded Games. So far as I can tell, they've not lied to the community. They haven't said, well, we're bringing a patch out on October 1st, and then nothing's appeared. They haven't done anything particularly nasty that I can find either. So overall, I'm going to give them a neutral rating of C for developer honesty. Reloaded Games and Hawken are an unusual case. Reloaded Games have resuscitated Hulk and they've brought back the forums, they've kept the servers running, they've tweaked the infrastructure behind the game to allow players to continue playing, and they deserve a lot of credit for that. 
However, at this point, that's all that Reloaded games have done. They've not added new content to the game. They've not fixed the bugs. They've not been clear on when there's going to be a patch. In fact, the Hawken community has not had a patch since about the middle of 2014. Now, I know that Reloaded Games have only been working on Hawking for about 10 months, but that should be enough time to get through the code, to start to see where things need fixing, to get your level designers fixing the issues with the maps, to get the basics working, and to start getting at least some good quality bug fix patches out. The community hasn't seen that, and this dedicated a community, I think, deserves at least that. What worries me about Reloaded Games is that they put relatively few resources into Hawken. They seem to have kept it at a, a minimal survival level and then left it at that and just left one or two people to look through the call to build the infrastructure back up before committing more resources to it. That's not what this game deserves. I have no doubt that Reloaded Games are actively working on Hawken. My doubt is what we're going to see for that work and when we're going to see it. So for all those reasons, I'm going to give a negative rating to Reloaded Games for Hawken. This can quickly be reversal once we start to see patches coming down the pipeline, once we get information about what's going to be in those patches. And of course, I'd love to see a roadmap for this game. It is in early access, which means it's not complete. What is required to complete Hawking and to sustain the game so that it can grow, bring in more players, bring in more revenue for Reloaded Games and get back on its feet? That's it for this developer review of Reloaded Games, the studio behind Hawking. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. That's it for now. As always, enjoy your gaming. Take care.